You can cover the poopies. You don't have to live in the poopy stink. Let's watch. Let's game it out. I completely broke the entire game with just one item in raft. Hey there, it's Josh. Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. Oh boy, it's time for some raft. Oh, the fun we've had with this game, like building this trash collection ah! raft or even a series of multiple oh! rafts, which are really easy to get around by placing just a few zip lines. That's right, just a few. So the game released its final chapter, which means it's time for us to dig in. And for that, we're gonna do a new game. Wait, you guys don't know what raft is? So raft, is a game where you can build a raft and you sail through the water and you can go and hook on to other islands and like find loot and stuff. It's a survival game. So if this is your first time seeing raft, let me break it down for you. This is our raft. This is the ocean. And out there is a bunch of trash for us to pick up. Like mm -hmm. so. <sighs> Come here, box. Got it. Ish. Come here, board. Let's try that again. Huh? <laughs> oh, just short. Okay, box. Rip. You're not getting away that easily. I'm coming for you. And you're probably wondering why wouldn't you just swim out to these things? Because then you can pick up these crates and get fabulous cash prizes. Well, because down in the ocean, there's oh. something waiting for you. Ah, ouchie. So besides avoiding our shark friend, we want to be picking up all- Yeah, shark's gonna hurt you. He's gonna, he's gonna eat you. And if you're like Ark, he will eat you. And then Cammy has to save you. Humans are friends, not food. I was never interested in Raft either. Like it looked more interesting than a lot of other survival games. But then I played it with Ark and Spooky and it was a lot of fun with friends. I think survivor games are more fun with friends. All this trash in the ocean. And beyond that, we're just kind of adrift, grabbing stuff that comes our way until we wander towards things like this. <gasps> Random little island. See, you find islands and then you go. Shark's name is Bruce. Yes, it is. Why do you think witches don't float? I think you're confused, Gray. I think you're thinking the other things. Witches flow, humans sink. Witches are fireproof, waterproof, and everything proof. We are proof of everything. Oh, what secrets do you have for us? Well, let's take a gander. Let's see, red flowers, <laughs> crap, into the ocean with you. Yellow flower, double crap, much better down there. And then we have wild fruit that we can't have, not until we chop this down. And for that, we need an ax, which we can craft. <laughs> and we have planks and rope, but we still need some stone. I bet we can find some down here on the ocean floor. Ah, there we go. Ow, flesh wound or not, I need this rock. Okay, now we can make an ax. And I'm gonna celebrate by collecting- So, that is survival games for, in, in a nutshell. You find item, to use item, to get item, to make item, to use item, to make item, to get item, to do the item, to, for, to, to no ends means. The, 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 survival games never stop. See, the witches of Wizard of Oz, don't trust them. They're not real witches, Finley. They are bad witches. Bad witches are wa not waterproof. Palm leaves, planks, and finally mango. And to destroy the tree so no one else can enjoy it. Now it's time to stare at the sunset and enjoy my victory mango. Mmm. <laughs> anyway, back to the raft. Oh, hello. It's mango season now. I need to get a big crate of mangoes because I love some good fresh mangoes in the summer. Hello, shark. What do you want? Hi, Bruce. Hey, stop it. Get off that. Stop hitting the raft. Oh, good. Yeah, I probably should have mentioned that the shark can eat your raft. That's okay. That's what the building hammer is for. To do stuff like build more foundation parts, which we can use to repair the shark's love bites. And more if we want. I mean, until we don't have enough supplies. <laughs> then we just have to live with our choices. But that's okay. We just take to the open water again, gather trash, and before you know it, you're going to be over. The good witches in the Wizard of Oz are also evil. Don't you know that, Ka? Everything in the Wizard of Oz is evil. We're flowing with supplies, literally. You'll have so many things, they'll just be falling off you. And that's when it's <laughs> time to expand and have some small storage. I love it. When you go to play something, you've got the little pointy finger like, yeah, right there. Okay. <laughs> just right over there, please. One, one storage there, right there. See where I'm pointing? Right there. This is great and all, but it doesn't really offer that much space. But we might as well think ahead, right? And thankfully with the build hammer, not only can- It's all evil. All of it. Can we build out, but we can build up as well. Like so. <gasps> and then instead of taking up useful space on the ground, we can just attach it like so. Yeah. Well, what the hey? Why stop there? We don't want to run out of space, do we? Oh, yeah, there we go. Ah. Much, much, much better. It's perfect, guys. It's perfect. Now you have all the storage you ever need. Ah, just calmly bobbing in the waves. Look at That's that. We have so much boat. space now. Ah. <gasps> Please stop. Please stop. 
Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Well, that's okay. We didn't want to expand too quick anyway, did we? That's the worst case, worst case scenario. Wait, duly noted, we'll keep the raft small. That's okay, I think I know an alternate way we can handle this. One of the items we can make is the fishing rod, which we can use to catch fish to make shark bait. Keep the shark busy. Here you go. Hey, shark, <gasps> go get it. Mmm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. There you go. Forest, Enjoy yummy. being distracted. Meanwhile, I was grabbing some of these barrels, and I got a decoration package. The hell is this? Well, only one way to find out. You learned rug. Oh, I see. <laughs> it teaches you how to make new stuff, like this stunning rug. Can I just put it along the edge like this? You sure Ooh. can. And can I walk on it? You sure yeah. can't. Well, that's fine. I'm just gonna place four of these things down then. So instead we have this really awkward- Look at this. Look at this. I didn't even know there was shark bait. I can't imagine how bored people were back then in the 1800s and the 1600s and the 1700s. They're all just so bored. They're like, I don't know what to do. Well, did you hear Margaret across the street? She learned how to make a herbal tonic that relaxes the mind. I think she's a witch. Let's burn her. I swear they did it because they didn't have Elden Ring. They did it out of boredom. Out of boredom. Good looking raft. Well, let's collect more of these if we can. Okay, we've collected a whole bunch of these things. Oh boy, I love surprises. Let's see what we got. Motivational. I'm not even, I'm, I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking, Sophie. They used to do beheadings and f the guillotine for fun because they were bored. They were so bored. Quote, teasingly perfect. I'll be the judge of that. And there. Good things come to those who float. Amazing addition. And let's see what else we got. Another motivational quote. Oh, uh, yeah. Cease he day. Oh, wait. There's motivational quotes in this game? I love it. I love it. Yes. America burned the witches. I guarantee there was witches being burnt in Europe at the same as well. Don't like we don't talk about it. We talk about the Salem witch trials. But there was guarantee witches being burned. Yes, I'm not surprised. Exactly. Out of boredom. You know what? Back then, back then. Think about this, guys. Think about this really hard. You have nothing to do. All you can really do is farm and 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 that's it. You can eat. You can eat and you can farm, but you're too poor to 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 eat because you can barely afford to farm. And and then you're just sitting there and you're sitting there with your family and then you hear you hear this whisper about a witch, a witch among them. And you're like, this is so much fun. I can go chase a woman down and murder her. What else would you want to do with your life? It's like, witch gotcha. <laughs> oh my God. Is it a witch or is it not a witch? She's a slightly longer burn it. Yeah, no witches were harmed. <laughs> Cause we, we know how to hide well, guys. We, we don't, we don't get caught easily. Wait, seize the day. I like it. And a clock. Thank God we can just keep adding more stuff to the Yay! pile. Bless my stars, another motivational quote. Okay, <gasps> let's see our vision board's live, getting a little laugh, full. Laugh. But hey, that seems like a perfectly good place. Good live, come laugh, who floats sail. Now we're making real. Oh my God, I love this. I love this. Now I'm just waiting for Bruce to break this and this all falls away art curtains string lights oh yeah that really adds to the decor i don't know if anything's going to be able to beat string lights i stand corrected what a beautiful oh. way to seize i don't know if there's a poop meter but look there's a toilet and a used toilet roll why is a used toilet roll here also there's a little cover so you don't have to smell the poopies you can cover the poopies you don't have to live in the poopy stink but it's uncovered right now so you, now you can smell the poopy. So the poopies are exposed to the air. The poopies sometimes need to breathe too, guys. You don't want to be suffocating your poop. Is the day. Nothing like doing your business with a view. Anyway, let's get to the next. <laughs> you can sit on it? Is there a poop meter? Poopy goes straight in the water. Oh no, why would you poop in the water? I do not want to feed my poopy to the fishies. I don't want to make them sick. Also, can fishy poop? Is that healthy for them? Guys, I recently found out there's a microbiologist on TikTok and apparently lakes are really bad to swim in. They will infect you with venereal diseases. Yup, they're higher risk for venereal diseases. Yeah, I, I'm gonna swim in chlorine. I don't wanna get venereal diseases. It's part of all this. Now we can't stay on the open water forever. No, There's secrets out there just waiting for us. But the first step in all that is we need to build a research table. Use to research new items to craft. And we'll go ahead and just put it right here. So you can research while you're pooping. Obviously, this is the best case scenario. Yes, what if the, the, the deer's pooping up river and then the poop just sweeps up your butthole? <laughs> it goes up your butthole if you're a guy. It goes up your hoo-ha if you're a girl. 
of our work from the home office. And basically, we open the book and we just start dragging everything we have and doing a little bit of research. And once We're we've researching. researched enough things, we can start to learn stuff. Learn, 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 learn. learn. And now it's look how educated we are becoming. We're learning so much. It's time to become suddenly really educated. Look at all this stuff we have now. Purifiers, grills. I mean, not like we're going to use those things, but it's nice to know they're there. We are going to build this smelter, though. Do not drink rain. Please do not drink rain. Rain is also infected with venereal diseases. It's going to let us melt copper, which just give it a quick second and it's going to be ready. Ah, there we go. Forbidden espresso. Give me that. And we need that for a little more researching. <laughs> Forbidden espresso. Because that's going to allow us to make some vital components. Like circuit boards and simple batteries. No, really. Batteries! We're going to do that right here on our beautiful toilet raft, which we're going to use to make a receiver. Used to locate nearby radio signals. Kind of feel like we're running out of space, but... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's... Fantastic. Fantastic. I love this. Perfect. Looks like these blocks are trying to spell hell. Oh, but we're not done yet. This thing needs antennas to work. And they need to be at a nice high altitude. Well, so be it. Let's build a little something. And for this little renovation, we're going to use wooden pillars. And we'll just place one there and there. And then we'll just do some nice cross beam. Look at it, that so looks pretty. about right. And also you can place stairs up here for some reason. Well, I'm not going to say no to that. Okay, yeah, this seems pretty good. Added just the right uh -huh. amount of height. I mean, probably. Now that it looks like a screensaver from 20 years ago, it couldn't be more simple. You just climb up this ladder, mm -hmm. jump onto a random beam, mm -hmm. climb up another stairway and then you can this is platforming in dark souls games this is exactly how platforming in dark souls games work kind of just go where you want i guess i don't know though i feel like it's still missing something like it's almost there but not quite but i think i know what's gonna fix that string nice. lights lots and lots and lots of string lights oh yeah that's the good stuff there we go <gasps> what a sight this is huh Some Wait, that's kind of pretty. That's kind of pretty, don't you think? I like it. It's like a Christmas tree. Something tells me we're going to be able to see this from anywhere now. I don't even know how we're powering this. All I can say is I'm glad we are. And now let's get out our... <laughs> choosy finger and then figure out just where to place these antennas so we'll put one right here and one right there Ooh. and a third one right come on let me place it there we go and we actually this is chaos see this is how i should be playing survivor games i think i would enjoy them more if i went crazy and didn't try to be making something pretty i had to move our that up a little bit higher in the air. But hey, as long as it works, success! And we're trying to go to that location right there. If my calculations are correct, it should be right in that direction. And it's there only 1,598 oh. meters away. Well, time to get paddling. What do you mean I can't paddle from all the way up here? <laughs> uh, fine. Okay, we're free. We should be there in no paddle, time. Paddle, paddle. Oh boy, we're oh so close. Look, there it is now. It's a it's another tower! A radio tower. Now here's the thing. Start at the bottom there and scale the whole platform to get all the way up there. You know, I've got a better Ooh. idea. Let's sail the raft as close as we can and just jump off at the top. Wait, what's happening? Oh, 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 oh. well, that works even better. Okay, change of plan. I didn't know that our chariot would just clip through everything. Well, it looks like we're most of the way there anyway. And here we are. At the That's an exploit. The top. Oh, uh, oh, I didn't realize yeah. there were people in this game. Well, hold still. <laughs> wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Let's not go that far. Awesome. Let's head out. Yeah, you just hang out here and I'll totally... Why is she so creepy? We let you know when we're leaving. No, we're not. We're really just here for a couple of things. One, this blueprint of a recycler. Give me that. And two, we're here for a post-it note, which in theory is going to take us to this because we need to go to these coordinates. So let's go. Hey, yeah, go ahead and stay right there. We're totally not. Is he abandoning her? He's abandoning her. Not leaving yet. Just stay put. Quick, run. Uh-oh, where's the raft? I think it was out this direction. And don't worry, we'll know if we reach it. See, there it is. So much easier to find it in the dark with all... Oh my god, the raft just left him. It left him behind. All those lights. Okay, so the next place we need to go, per our booklet, is 7849. Okay, easy peasy. But you know, since we're so... If, we, if we're on a deserted island, the French Canadians can be deserted there. Close to this island right here. Let's go take a gander. Okay, so we got this big island here, right? And if you stare through the haze up at the very top, there's a building up there. Ooh. So let's go check it out. Ah, there it is. So this is the trading post. It's here that we can buy all kinds of stuff you can't normally find, like an air horn, as well as different tiers of items to get other goodies like blueprints or over here in tier three. How do you unlock tier three by tier three subscribing to Camellia?
Number three, the thing I'm looking forward to, the detail plank. But to get these things, we need to get trash cubes and trade coins. And we need to up our reputation to unlock these tiers. To get reputation, we can sell these unique fish, which will, will get us trade coins and reputation. So that just leaves, where do we get trash cubes? Do you remember that blueprint? Ooh, woo, thank you. I am very ADHD. I'm ADHD dyslexic mess. Thank you for the kissy sapling. We got for the recycler. Well, we need to research and build that, and then we just need to feed it a bunch of tasty supplies, <laughs> enough that it craps out those cubes. What? And then before you know it, your cup runneth over with trash cubes. But hold that thought for now. We're almost to our destination. Behold, it's a giant... What do we use the trash cubes for? <gasps> There's a freaking yacht? And ship. So here's the thing about the cruise ship. Normally, we'd need to sneak in and then go down all these creepy hallways, collect all kinds of quest items we can't use anywhere else. And just like I showed in my previous video, we have to blow open a door to the bridge, and that's at the very top of the ship. And while we what? can do some fancy parkour to get higher and higher... This isn't going to help us get into the bridge and get the one thing we need, that post-it. And sure, there's an exit door right there, but we can't just use that because it's locked from the inside. Oh, but I have an idea. I'm sure you can see where this is going to go. Oh, is he going to clip through? Is he going to clip through? Right. First, let's just build some nice beams all the way over to the ship and then slowly climb our way up. Yeah, that seems beautifully stable. Then we got to go around because the entrance is on the other side. Okay, almost there. Okay, that's getting a little closer. So we can't place a platform here because it's in the glass, but we can place it there. Oh! Great. And then if we take a bed and just see if we can... Oh, look at that. Got a bed on the inside. So we can't use the bed through the glass. But seeing as Aww. how this whole setup shimmies around, all we need to do is wait for the bed to clip through the glass, <gasps> and then we should be able to... Oh, I got it! I laid down! Ah, oh, and we slept through the night. Time to get up, I guess. Ah, here we are inside the ship. Well, that was... That is such an exploit! I love it, I love it, I love it. Easy. No need to do all this bomb business. We'll just go in and out the front door from now on. Okay, so anyway, we need this thing that's on the steering wheel that says Balboa. And to nobody's surprise, that's gonna take us from vegetarian over to Balboa Island. Take that quest we were supposed to do. Feels good to do that clearly as it was intended. Classic, right? We just use a board to exploit everything. That's amazing. Intended. Okay, we'll be seeing you, ship. Okay, next round of coordinates, all for us. Here we come, Balboa, question mark, exclamation point. It's not too far away. We'll get there before you know it. But first, we're gonna make another pit stop. One of these islands with the shop. Now that we have those million trash cubes, it's time to do some spending. But first, we need to get some trade coins, which is a reminder we can get by buying special bait, then catching and selling different fish, which gives us trade coins and reputation. Easy. Buy the fancy fishing bait. Use it to catch some wild fish. Wait, you use trash cubes to buy things? Interesting. Are trash cubes the money of the future. Like so. Until it's sell a clock and I'm ready to trade. Ta-da! All the way to tier three. Now that we have access to everything, I mean, obviously we're gonna have to buy the air horn. Okay, let's see. How are you? Yep, about what I expected. But mostly we're here for one thing. <laughs> the detail plank. Adds details to your raft design. Detail plank? That's a fancy plank. Look at that fancy plank. It has... It has like a little circular of the wood grain. It's so fancy. Fine. Okay, let's see how this thing works. So we attach one end. Always a strong start. Oh, I see. It's like a variable length thing. And then you can attach it somewhere else. And then we can just add more and more. Wait, do I have to connect this to anything or can I just aim it into the sky? You can aim it into the sky. Oh my god, and you can just keep going. And going. And going. Well, this kind of gives me an idea. Give me a few minutes. Nine hours later, oh no! Oh boy, that took me a while. No, not all these lights. They're as they were before. I'm talking about the <gasps> thing they're currently in comp- It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's the- it's the prettiest thing I've ever seen. Compassed in. That's right. We made a tornado raft. Look at its grand size compared to that island. And how beautiful it is to just watch it wandering through nature. And look at all the lights still visible from the outside. And that's because a lot of the original raft is still in there. You know, just generously encompassed by this giant funnel. And don't you worry. The shark is still with us, but at least for the moment our raft is safe. I went ahead and installed foundation armor, which once added will keep the shark from biting it. Oh my god, look at us oh, approaching. Oh, there's foundation armor. I didn't know that was a thing. That's great. 
Wait. This little tiny rat. Guys, it's a massive toilet, obviously. It's a massive toilet. That's where you go poopy. I don't feel like its odds of surviving Hurricane Us are very good. Oh, no. There it goes. Anyway, now that our raft is nice and complete, time to head on over to whatever the next thing is. Why, look. There it is now. Watch out, island. We're coming in for a landing. Now, one way we could <laughs> tackle this island is going the normal way, where we have to worry about stuff like bears Us? and do terrible things like you our legs to walk Ugh. Ugh. and then we have to use our Ugh. walking Ugh. brains to keep from getting lost Ugh. over my dead pile of boards we're gonna do it that way all right here we go just building all the way to the island it couldn't be more simple see that was easy Ta -da. no problem speaking of no problems to get to this relay <laughs> station they want us to figure out how to lower this bridge oh whatever will we do and really we could just jump off here but then we'd have to do all that walking over so there. much walking Walking. And then climb up all those stairs. So many stairs, Chad. Like, look at those stairs. That's at least a five-minute walk. Just to get up here. I'll just take the board express. Thank you very much. And here. Ark, we were playing raft wrong. We were playing raft wrong. This was the way to play raft. Here we are. Okay, now you just hang out right here. I'll be right back. It's going to be a short trip anyway. All we're doing is turning on the power. And then we're heading over here so that we know the relay station is on. And then it's time to hop back aboard our noble steed and i think the next place we're gonna want to go is right it is wood bending yes 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 right over there and here we are we know the drill come in here and oh. uh hello oh, nice tan lines here if you decide you want to try your hand at this knock yourself out with a detail plank now me <laughs> i'm just gonna go do my thing two relay stations active thanks for all your hard work me i'll just be leaving now and just <laughs> Depresso. Just a quick romp to the last one. A quick romp indeed. See, there's ah. the other place we just were. And here's my stable walkway. Adjust altitude. Okay, and let's gas it up. Thanks for the code. Okay, time to shove off. Let's untether ourselves, shall we? Bye-bye. Huh, couldn't help but notice there's still a lot of that over there. Nah, I'm sure it's fine. It's Two, fine. zero. And he won't break the game at all. One, one. Okay, we'll be there momentarily. Although it looks like our highway in the sky is following us. Well, that's good. Oh. At least we don't have to do anything about it. Oh boy, and we're oh so close now. What a lovely sight. Yes, let's just go right inside. Hello, caravan town. The tornado is here to hang out for a bit. <laughs> so normally there's a whole lot of verticality we have to do. Or do we? At this point, I think we're above all that literally so instead we can get everything done rather quickly which is going here to the mayor's house and because it seems like the classiest way we'll just hop in through the window and specifically what we're looking for is what's in this chest which unfortunately he needs the key what the heck it requires a key but for that we need to head back the way we came a little bit and forge a new path over here to the infirmary but in order to get the I'm key so we're looking heavy. for we have to get in here which requires itself a key or wait do i never <laughs> mind i just grabbed it through the window well works for me well that was easier than i thought it would be you're fine hello mayor's chest have a key ah engine controls not Ooh. sure what i need that for but more importantly a new note and done and done okay next just imagine the devs watching this video being like wait he can do this what <laughs> <laughs> place. Hey, did I mention that I installed this sweet wheel? And if I take this thing and just rotate it all the way to one side. Oh boy, now we're a real tornado. tornado. Spinning in the wind, complete with, I guess this would be really creepy lightning. Anyway, whatever. The important part is that we're here now. Oh, giant golf ball. I've missed you. And it looks like we're coming in for a landing. Is it just going to go right through it? It sure is. Ah, and we are as one. Unfortunately, try as I might, I can't get the raft to just force me onto the other side. But that's okay. Rip. The raft will be on the other side, but he won't. Rip a Rooney. Okay, we don't need to force our way in. We can just go in through the front door. First things first, let's just go straight up. It's always dry, but funny way. Are, they're just awkward. Like, so many game developers are just so awkward. To the top to get to our objective without even going inside. Okay. Ooh, what if we just go straight for that ladder? Ooh, ladder. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hello, can I get into this hatch, please? Okay, so it looks like the hatch is locked, and we need it no. open because the next set of coordinates are in there. I guess we have to do it the normal way. There's also a door Ooh. up here that should lead us right to a keypad that should get this whole thing in motion. And it looks like we can't go in through these doors either. So I guess that means we have to go in the old-fashioned way. So basically, to get inside, we need to follow these little arrows, which will take us around... <laughs> 
my god. You know what? I it, it amazes me how many people don't know how to like just I can't speak. <laughs> yeah, inside is the best. Yeah, inside is the best. Wait, what? On the side of the building where we can get inside. Wait a minute. Can this go into the Ooh. water? This can and go into the water. Oh my goodness, and so can we. Oh my god, this is so confusing. It doesn't know we're underwater. I'm just standing here, obviously underwater, but the game doesn't seem to think so. Here's how I know. If I were underwater like this, this meter shows up, and I start losing oxygen. But if I surface, let that meter fill back up, and then back down into here, the meter doesn't show up. Can I just- This is a big exploit. I love it. Stay down here? Oh my god, and the shark doesn't even care about me. Like, if I get off the raft, the shark definitely sees me. But if I stay on this platform, shark doesn't care at all. <laughs> this is amazing. Well, hell, why not just stay underwater all the time? Oh, I think this is our exit. Time to surface, I guess. I like how I could just get on land at this point, but why bother? Let's why just take bother? this all the way this into the facility. Faster. And here we are. <gasps> Welcome to whatever the name of this place was. Now, something we want to stay away from are those, because if we get too close to them, they want to help us. I'm okay, thank you. I love the idea that there's this whole big expansive place to explore. Explore, and we're just like, nah, I'm just gonna ignore the laws of physics. Nah, we don't want that. We got our, we got our planks. We got our planks. And just climb all the way to the top. And here we are. Hello, elevator. Take me to the... Hey, wait a minute. I wonder if I can get the boards in here, too. Only one way to find out. Oh okay, so these God. boards can go straight up. So if I attach one side right here, and then I climb up on this, so then I'm basically clipping through the <gasps> floor. Okay, here we go. Well, no need to take the elevator, I guess. Yeah, I'm sure this is what they had in mind when they added this item to the game. Let's add a variable length board. Give people all... Who needs, who needs an elevator? You know, and you can just take the boards ultimate customization, and so much more. Well, we've done some good work here, and we're almost out. Here's the elevator door. Can we just walk through this? No. No, we can't. But I wonder if we can just use the boards to shove us through. Come on. Come on. Oh, hey, it worked. Okay, I guess we could have just <laughs> used the button, but that was so much more fun. Okay, and now it's time for the emergency bridge launch. Actually, wait. Before we push this button, I need to know something. Here we are back again at all this stuff. If I was able to clip through all that, I wonder if I can clip through this. I mean, oh. we have to know now, right? Okay, this setup's gonna be a little more elaborate. Now, normally Ooh. what happens is we put in the code and the thing gets launched. And then it lands in the ocean. We can go inside and get our next code. So honestly, I don't even know if it loads anything into this before it gets launched, which is why we need to find Matt. out. Oh, looks like- Oh, oh, oh. There's something in there, all right. We just gotta get the game to let us in now. Ah, there we go. We made it in. Oh, good. I'm glad we can see this from the other side. Well, let's take a look and... What? I'm sorry. There's a person in here? Were you just watching this happen? How long have you been... Look at her. She looks like she's seen some shit, guys. She is... She is... She... She... she, she I can't speak. She has seen shit. Sitting here like this. Ah. You there. She's also barefoot. Me out of this thing. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> I'm here for one thing and one thing only, and that's this post-it. Give me that. Okay, it looks like we're heading to 9463. Don't worry, though. That woman seemed like a bad person, so we're gonna leave her in that chair, but we're gonna launch her anyway. <gasps> and we already know the code, because I brute-forced it in my last raft video. So here we go. I hope you have a nice time down there and don't sink to the bottom of the ocean. Actually, who am I kidding? I don't care. Well, back to the raft, which is looking more and more like a hostile alien the further we play. Now it's on to Varuna Point, also known as the new content in the final chapter. Thank goodness everything's kind of close together. Okay, bye golf ball thingy, which looks remarkably cracked thanks to all my ramps. Just look at all the memories we've formed. This one here floating in space, that's when I went to the bear island and skipped everything. And this one right here, this is when I went to the island of RVs and also skipped everything. And can't forget that we learned how to breathe underwater forever. Oh boy, we can see whatever it is on the horizon. Mm. Can't wait to see what mysteries it holds. Okay, it looks like we've got two Ooh. buildings and a giant crane in the middle. Thank goodness that height poses no problem for us. Now, something I haven't talked about using very much is an anchor, which is just a lovely pile of rocks. And we're going to attach it to this building to make sure we hold in place. Huh? Uh. Yep, there we go. That's Perfect. right, this button. 
bucket and that piece of rope is gonna hold this whole thing in place. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Well, let's take a gander. We're gonna start by doing this on foot. I know, I'm scared too. Ugh, All this verticality but... we can't control. Ooh, now I'm into this. What do you mean I can't use this? If I can't use- A disgusting porta potty. Use it or knock it over, what's the point? Other sights to see include dumpster, scaffolding, Ooh. and also whatever this is. Oh, it looks like this is for a zip line, but it is kind of going the wrong way, so we're not- Wrong way, wrong zip line. Not gonna get very far. Besides, why would we do that? Why would we want to use our hands? <laughs> not when we can build a ramp straight to heaven. Okay, we can almost reach it. Having built yet another amazing- I'm surprised he hasn't tried to build up out of the sandbox, like out of the- the the uh the sky box you know like i am surprised he hasn't tried to build out of the sky box yet tendril from the raft and departure is now let's see what we got okay standard places Ooh. to sleep bunch of places to climb not much going on here and for some reason the police scanner won't work and here i was ready to locate some crimes well i guess we could go check this out so let's go the old fashioned <gasps> way we Wonderful. But hey, at least my legs still work. Ugh, nothing but more stupid construction. The least they Guess there's no fall damage. They could have done is get this finished before we got here. Well, let's see what's up here at least. What do you mean I can't open the door? What do you not want me to find out that's in there? Okay, you've left me no choice. Time to go back to the raft. Oh, oh, there's more oh. stuff underwater. A lot oh. more stuff. Okay, I think we know what happens next. First, let's redirect our boards all the way back down. Okay, almost there. And coming in for a landing. Oh, and in case you were wondering, there's nothing in this building. Well, at least that mystery oh. is solved. Time to do some deep sea diving. Now, as I build this, I realize that these air bubbles here are supposed to help us replenish our air. But why do that when this lets us breathe forever? So it looks like we have a... Why breathe the air holes that are intended to breathe? No, when we can use when we can use board. Series of jellyfish here blocking an entryway. And based on how this light up here mm. seems to keep the jellyfish away until it turns off, and then they separate again when it turns back on, something oh. tells me that's what we're supposed to do with this one, if it weren't mm. broken, to separate these ones here. But I'm sure your mind is going where mine is, right? Which is, do we have to, or can I just kind of build into them? Okay, easy, easy. Ah, okay, no, I guess it won't work that way. And it knocks me off of my boards, which... Savage, savage. Which makes me a mere mortal. And we can't have that. So I set up a board over here that allows me to restore my lovely just wandering underwater status. So be it. We'll do it the old fashioned way, which means exploring underwater apartments. Pardon me, doors coming through. Well, there's what we need. Can this thing see us? Apparently not. Excellent. Ooh, Give me go. that spotlight part. Sure makes it easier that these things can't see us. It definitely makes it easier. To That's a cool looking fish, though. Just sneak into people's bedrooms rooms and steal their light bulb parts. And there you go. Ah, perfect. Then let us proceed. Well, this certainly looks promising. Oh, and what might this be? G! Oh, oh, I see. <gasps> I'm not perturbed. And apparently neither are they. Just like with the other shark, I guess they can't see me as long as I'm on the board. He's so cute. This is Chad. We got Bruce and Chad. This is Chad, our shark buddy. Oh, this setup is the gift that just keeps on giving. Anyway, what the hell are these? Just imagine hard the game would be if you didn't have the, the, the boards. I can just pick these up? Oh, uh, okay. Can I just throw these at the shark? Apparently not. Okay, let's just hop off this and actually swim and see. Oh, now it sees me. Ouch. Oh, okay, I think I see how this works. Basically, we need to take one of these things and then carry it over to one of these columns and then just shove it in. And then we have to convince oh. Old Faithful here to crash into it. Nice work, dummy. And then that gives us access to a new area. Don't Olé! worry, shark friend, we're coming. Lee. And rinse and repeat. Nice job, shark friend. You truly are the sharpest tool in the shed. And after doing- He's just a little dumb Chad. Doing this pillar business one final time. Been nice to know ya. I guess now- Chad died! Now that the shark is out of the way, let's proceed and see what the treasure awaits us. Oh boy, I wonder what the treasure is. Jewels? Other riches? Oh, a key. Wait, a crane key? I know where that goes. You mean I could have just clipped into this this whole time? How did I neglect to look at this? Oh, okay, I actually had to use it from the inside. So it was uh -huh. essential. Just like killing that shark was. Oh. oh, how convenient. It's right near my raft. Look at all that trash and stuff. I bet it's nice and soft. Let's give it a look. Ah, you're fine. Ooh, and what's this? Could it be our Ooh. next location? I bet it. This sounds... Watching him play this the way it's not intended makes me just so exhausted at thinking about how the game was intended to be played. <laughs>
It is. Time to head to Tempura Island. Goodbye, Glorious Island. And now to do the dance of celebration while we wait. What a sight. What a creepy, creepy sight. Well, this is different. Not used Snow! to snowflakes. Maybe this island coming up is gonna fill us in on those details. Oh, huh. I have to admit, I wasn't expecting an ice region. And look how insurmountable this would be. You know, for someone else. Not us, though. We can reach everything with the greatest of ease. And let's go see what this thing is. Hello? Hello? I wonder if they patched this out. Uh oh Anybody home? Door's locked from the other side. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way, door, because you're about to be open from this side. Ah, in we go. Door is now open. Okay, <laughs> so what is in here that we need? Well, I don't know what was going on in here. How are you supposed to get in here? But thank God they have Wi-Fi. Let's see what's <gasps> up here. Ah, the telescope. This is the life. They have Wi-Fi and a telescope. Part, but I'm scoping out something else right now. A safe. How many numbers are we looking at? Four total. Well, you know the drill. There is undoubtedly a puzzle to solve here, but I prefer my method. Brute force. Zero. I love it. I do brute forces in games all the time. If you know two of the numbers, it's even easier to brute force it. Zero, zero, zero. Zero, 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 one. Zero, 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 two. Five, nine, six, four. Ah, <gasps> there we go. Behold our prize, the Celine Dion key. We'll just go out the front of this telescope. What a beautiful view. Oh, and what's that over there? Our next destination, that's what. Fingers crossed that this is gonna be awesome. Ooh, this looks fun. Hello, what are you? Ooh, this is feeling really good on my skin. Okay, I think we can safely conclude this is radiation. And I'm he died. I'm glad to know that my guy has a built-in Geiger counter. Oh, thank God, there's an entrance over here. The Celine Dion Research Facility. Can we just go right in? Apparently not. Ah, this must be the switch. Requires one blowtorch. Hell, it does require a blowtorch. Oh my God, calm down. Jesus. I mean, I guess it is... Oh my God, look at how high he's flinging around. One board attached to a bunch of other boards that extends all the way back to my raft. I guess those waves are getting pretty choppy a thousand boards back. Anyway, you know the drill. Okay, so we'll just do the old standard forced me through the wall tactic. And there we go. Okay, what do we have here? <laughs> Reactor malfunction. Oh, oh no. God, do I need to care? Insert control rods. Oh, no. Uh, doors locked from the other side. No. Uh, can I just jump into this, please? Just give me one of these and I'll do it. There we go. Looking great. And just see if we can't just get into this reactor room without the reactor key. Easy, easy. Okay, there we go. Onward and downward. <laughs> Hello. Let's see, what is this? Hold to rotate smoothly. You got it. Oh, looks like I didn't have to go get the rods after all. They're just right here. And one. And second rod is in. And three. Thanks, game. I feel really good about those fuel rods. I totally did. This game is very elaborate get on. What do we have here? My blessed post-it note. Time to go to Utopia, it looks like. Well, that was easy. Ah, the raft looks so pretty at night, doesn't it? As we punch in our coordinates for the promised land. Unfurl the sail. Spin the wheel. Second star on the right and straight on till morning. And we're almost there. Ooh, a whole city. <gasps> Quickly, let's put out our bucket. Let's see. I guess we'll go ahead and just put it. Oh, a fancy city. Oh, 100%. It's a massive game. Look at it. Look at it. But who wants to play that? Now I've, I know everything that happens in the game. What, in the center of town? Yeah, why not? Here you go. Anchor away. So Utopia is our final destination of the game. I don't really know what that means in terms of what we'll find, but it probably bears a little observing just to see what we got. So let's exercise our legs a little bit. That's what I'm talking about. So we've got dirt and more dirt and even more dirt. Utopia, you are riveting. So I you can plant farmland. I climbed around this town for a little bit, and here's what I can tell you. Lots of buildings, nobody home. To what oh. end? Don't know, don't really care. And by that, I mean, if everything kind of sucked down there, maybe we just need to go higher. First, let's check out this thing. What do we got? Requires one harpoon, one carbon dioxide canister. Why, what does this do? Oh, does it shoot <gasps> all the way over to that? I have a better idea. Instead of that fetch quest, how about I fetch some more boards. Yes, capital idea. Well, that was easy. I mean, to be honest, I really, 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 really hate fetch quests, so I am a board user. Hey, wait a minute. It wants me to ride a zip line down to here. Well, all right, but this better be worth it. Ooh, looks Ooh. like an entrance. Oh, no. Two padlocks. Requires oh, no. two entrance keys. Well, you got it. I'll go get my tools. This is pretty much standard operating procedure now. And then before you know it, other side. Couldn't be more simple. And of course, we'll take our 
our planks with us to the elevator. Okay, and almost there. Oh okay. God. I actually went past <laughs> the elevator and just popped in through the floor. And the journey continues. What mysteries will we find? Wait, wait. Everyone be quiet. There's some guy up there. What can I do you for, sport? What are you doing in this building? Hey, I'm talking to you. Nice outfit. Unfortunately, I think I broke him until we go down and do whatever all this stuff is. But hey, maybe <laughs> it'll be easier from the other side since I can drop this ladder down ahead of time, which I'm probably not supposed to be able to do. <laughs> Hello? Hello? I love this exploit. Uh oh. Look around. Oh, that woke him up. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. God, he sure has a lot to say, doesn't he? Oh. <laughs> okay, I see. Where are we headed now? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize we were dealing with a wizard. Well, something tells me we're gonna see him again. Now that we've sequenced broken everything, we just need to figure out where he probably went. Well, I did find this door, which is locked, and obviously I don't have the key. I mean, unless you count my skeleton key. So we're supposed to jump down here and then fight all of this. Oh. <laughs> And there he is up there. Well, instead of dropping down here, I say we go in through the side and scare the crap out of him. And just put this here. Okay, there we go. Other side. Let's go say hi. Hey, buddy, it's me again. No? Still not impressed, huh? <laughs> All right, well, let's back up till we can find your little place. Okay, there he goes again. No, wait, come back. We're in wait hot pursuit. Me. Where do you think oh, no. you're going, you ruffian? You think this beautiful long hallway is gonna intimidate me? Well, think again. Oh, what in the heck is this? What? I can tell you what I do know. I'm probably supposed to go down this way, but probably not up this way. Okay, <laughs> and there we go. What is this place? Here we go. Let's go say hi, shall we? So I get the feeling we're supposed to be fighting this big animal, right? It's probably not just supposed to be hanging out while we get closer and closer to it. Can we just hit it from here? Apparently not. Well, at the very least, I'm just gonna hang out up here with you. And you know, instead of fighting you two, I think I'm just gonna leave you both here and proceed. Let's go. Let's see what's down this hallway. Ah, nothing. Nothing is down this hallway. Oh, Where no. are you planning to run to this time? So I think what's happening is an elevator is supposed to appear around here somewhere because we can go all the way up there, which means oh. we're gonna leave all this behind and just go straight up to that penthouse. Now, this is a boss battle I can get behind. Almost there. And we're here. Hello. Uh-oh, he seems aware of me this time. Time because it keeps backing up. I will not. <gasps> okay, those noises did not sound like someone who died the way we want them to. Nope, seems very much alive. Well, I'll be taking that key that's dangling, which appears to be the master key. Whatever the hell that does. Well, I guess now. It was like an evil dictator guy. Now we need to figure out where that master key goes. I mean, it's gotta be somewhere, right? Nope, think I found it. Use one master key. Well, now I wish I'd seen this beforehand. After all. <laughs> I guess he should have had some planks on him. Oh, we can hear people in there. Although I gotta admit, not really sure where the voices are coming from. <laughs> seeing as how it's a black void in there. Okay, fine, we'll do it the real way. Since you left me no choice. And then it gives you a movie clip. Here, I'll give you the bullet points. A bunch of people poured out of the doors. Corporal Neckbeard was put in jail. And all these people we've never seen before created a new civilization. And now we're back in the game, but there's people around. Except, you know what? I think my sequence breaking has had some consequences. Because I realize he's right here. But he's also right here. Throwing diamonds dynamite at the whole town. This could not <laughs> be more perfect. And now I'm collapsed on the ground and people are just walking past me like it's no big deal. My army will crush you. <laughs> I know. Well, that sure was a short-lived civilization. So I hope you had fun. I know I did. I'm just gonna watch <laughs> Utopia burn and I'll see you next time. Oh, and in case you were curious, yes, he's also still over here along with that giant <laughs> creature that I never killed. <laughs> Oh my god, that is so ridiculous!